This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another video and today I'm doing a little bit of this because I received these for this guy. Frenzy. Uh, and he's already awesome as is, but uh, you know, it wasn't too expensive to get these so I jumped on it. And I'm really happy I did, so I'm going to take a look at that. But before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. volunteer for this geeky assignment I want Skywalk's job okay so before I apply the decals let's take a look at them uh, this is gonna be at the base of the filler arms uh, this section here um, now I know this is for part of the waist but there's an alternative right here with a Decepticon logo which I'll probably use some blue some black some pin covers so that looks nice and uh, that's pretty much it and then on this one here you have a bit of chrome uh, the 60 MC uh, side A I'm not seeing a side B anywhere but it's kind of look okay and you know the these colors are really what we had on cassettes back then but mostly the translucent one and then you have frenzy itself before uh, the decals, he looks really good as is. Uh, one of the best friends he's like compared to Siege. Way better, you can check my review. Uh, I like this guy. Uh, I usually leave the fillers on just for uh, effect. And uh, yeah, looks really good. So let's uh, just quickly send him to the paint shop and see how he turns out. Okay, back from the application. What's left is uh, Two black spots for the pile drivers, uh, one black for the back of the head, the waist without the Decepticon logo, uh, two black pin covers, two red pin covers, a couple of blue decals for the base of the pile driver, and a waist decal. That's pretty much it. So, always good when you use most of your purchase. Uh, the pile drivers look really good. Uh, black cover for the red here. Uh, make sure that uh, you know you're careful to put it uh, around the uh, existing holes. Uh, look good, uh, black decals like I pointed out with the blue chrome highlight. That's the same chrome that they use now for windows. You have a silver uh, decal here uh, for the bottom, and then all around the base you have this decal here to enhance the effect of. Not in hands, but I mean to demonstrate the effect where he's pile driving. And then you have this uh, at the bottom. And for the robot mode, looks really good. You have a new, uh, the waist decal here, while well, the lower abdomen decal in black with the uh, Autobot logo. You have a little red highlight right here. You have the two pin covers that go right there. You have silver highlights on the toes. Looking good. You have a red highlight around each wrist uh, looks good and that's pretty much the front everything else will show more in cassette mode but he looks really good and as you guessed it it's pretty much the same decal set as we got with rumble uh, the toe you know the waist two decals uh, he had a little more details on his pile drivers but it's the same thing um, so yeah, and then at the bottom he had the, uh, the thing. One thing I did discover, I don't know, do they, they do that too? I just realized you can actually remove this. All of them can have a, uh, they have a hole here and you know what, give me a second. For a second I thought maybe these were blast effect compatibles, but they're not. So I don't know what's the point of having this removable, maybe it's just to, uh, to have, I don't know, more gimmick. I guess you can plug it in other 5mm ports. 
that's an option so all right let's put it back and now let's uh, put uh, these uh, guys in uh, well at least one of them in uh, cassette and in cassette mode it looks really good already I really like the look of uh, the, uh, the cassette uh, from the back that these colors are really 80s like those cassette tapes we had really had the uh, this blue silver feel uh, so that's uh, pretty cool but uh, these would apply you know they would show up uh, in these color scheme for like cassettes that you would you know record a mixtape on not necessarily the um, artist one uh, because artists you would have like sometimes the title tracks a little bit of info and the name of the band side uh, a and b so but this looks really good i mean it, it fits the bill so now let's take a look at him after the decals for the cassette mode there's not much in the front because most of it was already for the robot mode so most of the decals will be applied in the back and it uh, looks good but it takes a it doesn't seem like much but there's actually quite a few so you have the red line around the wrist you have those two pin covers right here and then on the, to enhance the top you know the, the silver stuff on top here you have four new decals with the a side and then you have the uh, mc60 uh, clear decal that goes over the blue area and then here you have the micro cassette metal position that goes over the blue area again. So that looks good. And then this is a two parter. You have a black. I guess I misaligned it just a little bit because I, I think this the idea is supposed to have a straight line here. Uh, but it's basically you put a black decal over the pin and then you have another uh, silver decal. So it's kind of lined up, but it's uh, I, I don't know maybe I reverse them but they didn't fit on the other way so anyway so that's what you get in the uh, cassette mode and that looks pretty good overall a good uh, a small but good enhancement for the uh, robot mode so now uh, let's go for the money shot hey frenzy So there you go, Sunwave's Destructive Minions, uh, together, all toy axed up, it looks really good on the shelf and I can complain. I'm really happy with this set, small one, just small enhancement, but it's, it does make the, uh, the, the figure stand out a little bit. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care!